So this is the second part of the five finger warm up exercise and it's a combination of releasing fingers, using them consciously, but also independence between two fingers. And there's many ways you can do that. So I'm just going to suggest one and starting with the thumb on my middle C. Again, could be any five finger position, including just black keys, white keys or any combination even a closer one. I'm choosing the five finger position right now. It's easier to see. Holding my thumb, I'm just going to play each other finger in turn. So a second finger here. Just a few notes. If there's any tension, I let go. Third finger. Fifth thing, fourth finger. And fifth. Just watch that you're keeping that nice curved shape so it doesn't collapse like that. Now I'm changing over, second finger's holding, and it's a different thing now to play the first finger, now I'm holding the other one. So my D, second finger, is the sustained note next. Thumb. Third finger, always monitor any, any tension you might develop and let it go. Third finger. So it's not about hearing that D, you can of course replay it if you like, so you could do that and do the fifth, but you could just let it fade away as well. Third finger, and again just as I'm changing I just double check, so it was a bit tense there my wrist, I let it go, first finger, staccato now, short notes. Second, fourth, and fifth. Again, just watch that it doesn't go anywhere. That we're not doing it with our arm, but it's our finger really playing those short notes, especially those fourth and fourth, fifth finger notes. Now, because now I'm holding four and playing the first short notes. Second, third, and that's an interesting one, fifth, and it might be that your thumb gets tense, so just watch what happens with the other fingers as four and fifth is the trickiest one, it twitches a little in my case as well, so that's fine, but just let, let it go. And that's the last of the fourth fingers, and I'm holding five now, starting again with the thumb. Nice default hand position here. Second. And third. And I'd say this one is easier. But again, as I'm holding, make sure that this is not happening, but it's rounded fingers. So. You can play or reduce it to just neighboring fingers. Play with that idea any way you like. You can, of course, take it to town entirely. Go hold two fingers at once and play others. I mean, you can play any way you like. The main thing is just to make sure that only those fingers are working that are supposed to work and you let go of tension in between where necessary.